I am Reno Hensa. And I am Mary May Alboroto. And I'm Mary Kate Ramirez. So today, we're going to an interview at one of the local artists here in Bilar Bohol. His name is Jerry John Baggio. But before that, do you know that art is an expression of human created minds? That's why we could see art everywhere. And art is the universal. And this mural painting behind me is one of Jerry Jones' work. Let's, Let's go! go. Hello everyone, we're already here at the venue and beside me is our chosen local artist and I will let him introduce himself. I'm Jerry John Baguio, a local artist called Sabilar, a known to know high artist that is coming from Sabilar. So, first of all, I'm going to show you what I'm going to see. It's simple, it's realistic and portrait mo rin ka sa gara ng mahimo then tato usahay so usap pa ba ninyo ito pumunta na Good morning Mr. Jerry John Baguio We are from Bohol Island State University Bilar Campus and we are taking up BSN Mathematics 1 and I'm Princess Nancy Cabela This is my question for you sir What is art for you? Art for me is for me is symbol of life Kaya, ano sa meaning sa akong kuhan sa bagnod ka isa, ano sa meaning para na ako. So, mabuhi ko nga, makasurvive ko po nila, ano sila. So, my next question, sir, is how does it contribute to your life? So, meaning ko, maka, kuhan ko, maka, nakipagroon mga pagroon na akong mga kuhan sa akong art, then, pwede na sa nasure na ko sa uban. Good day, sir. Um, I'm Jessica Rossi Hale, and I just wanted to ask, uh, how, uh, when did your passion in art start? Uh, since I was in Baker, in grade one, then bangga bangga puri sa ganda ko nito sa ibo hoy. Ang gi pa dayo na niya. And also, uh, I want, I just want to know, how did you discover your passion in art? Um, since my father told me that. The technique and the how to draw. Good morning, sir. I am John Paul of Eugenia Lon. And I would like to ask, how can you describe your artwork? Um, I describe my artwork uh, and yeah, realistic. The, it's one of the disordinates, yeah. Uh, parts of the painting. The every detail and every design. And to add up to that, I would like to ask, why did you choose this kind of style? Kaya, we know that the people who are in the world are in the world. Because they are in the world. Because they are in the world. Because they are in the world. So, they are in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. I am Marisa Dino Zavaras. So, here's my question, sir. Are you currently employed elsewhere? No. Since I graduated five years ago, Still, uh, local lang yapon. Yeah. Part time, then. Kanra, pinding pinding lang always. Sure, are you planning to work for a company or for someone that can help you? Be recognized on other places as an artist and your artwork as well? Um, Bukano po kung ako lang yao, pero not all. Kana, plano dito sa Dano. Eh, ako, may mo, may mo, may mo, para sa mga, pwede ka ma-invite siya eh. So, mora na akong iwat, pero ako ra isa, dili po ka parang kayo. Mas gusto ko na ako nga, dili ra sa Bohol, and sa Philippines, na gusto mo, kung ano, bahay sa art. If someone would offer you a bigger opportunity to work abroad, would you accept it or not? I accept it. Depends, the salary they give me, and... Kung magkatrabaho ko dito, mas magdipindi ko sa ilang pindu na ako na kuhan pa sa akong kita dito sa ako. Okay, sir. I am Dani Carlos Hermosora. So, here's my question. Do you plan to sell your work? Of course. Yes. So, sa'yo mo, customer, on sa'yo, mostly like, kanyo mo nga artworks or specific request nga ganahan, sila din mo hindi mo. Sometimes, charcoal painting, then, Nature, 
Then portrait painting, uh, yan na, in canvas. And depending po sa paper, they want the paper. Good morning, sir. I am Princess Andy Sarong. So here's my question. What factors influence the price of your work? Um, influence? It depends in the design and how big and the size of the canvas and the place like mural with a mural. So they nagpo ka ng mural, magdipindi po na siya sa kainiton o sa lugar na yung trabahoan. So far, what's the artwork that has the highest commission? Um, Lastly, uh, I'm doing uh, sinolog in uh, profit, props in sinolog and that is my biggest thing uh, na Hi sir, I am Diana Grace Durang Mokab and I've already known you since high school because if I'm not mistaken, you're the one who painted some uh, mural paintings in Dular National High School. So as a person, there's no word that can describe how good uh, as an artist you are. So I just wanted to ask her because despite the compliments that you have received, I know there are some critics. So what have uh, some critics that you have received so far and what did the collector said about your work? Kasagaran is, ngayon din sila nga, nice yung painting, but di pa din as nice. Ang, depende ang mga artist ako'y makaimo na doon. Pero sa mga customer ako, unlike sa mga negative, like tattoo artist, Okay, magpasakang po na silang kabalingon na sila'y kamao, di daon dito nila. Pero dawato na lang po lang ako eh, mas adatis. Work a day, mula lang. Okay, thank you so much, sir. And I just wanted to clarify, uh, I know you have supporters, so do we expect something? Or do you have plan to, like, have an exhibit? Yes. Thank you, sir. Mga mall lang. Mga mall. Di kanya, invite po nila. Thank you so Hi sir, um, I'm Hannah Jane Lopez and so far, what are the challenges you've encountered? Um, some challenges na ako nagawa is parang down ko sa isang artist na ako. And then, mm. sa mga tao na hindi na support ka, na down ka na, hindi lang ka malago na. Ang gamay ka kita na. So, yan, parang yung mga challenges na ako nagawa. Yeah, how, you, how did you manage it? Um, Walang, ipinti na ako. Saan nga, at tapos mga isipit, ito na ako, ito na ako sa mga paintings, ito yung mga refresh na mapubo, maulian na ito sa mga pila. Sir, I believe these are your artworks, so may I look at this one? Sir, what, if I may ask, can I... What is your inspiration to do this? My inspiration is to do this. I can do it by Le Carmen. 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 It's a little bit of paper. So, what I can do is to appreciate my friends and my friends. Oh, I can do it by Le Carmen. So, muna na kung hindi mo nga, sila, ang apple gusto ng silo pain para ma-emphasize sa mga artist ko nila, ah, bawal na dito ng silo pain. So, ano nito? Thank you, sir, for answering my question. Hi, guys! As you can see, we have previously conducted an interview with a local artist in Bilar Bohol. A 25-year-old man, his name is Jerry Joan Baggio. He is a very talented artist who welcomed us warmly as his residence and set up an amazing spot for us. As you can see in the video, many of his works are shown. And because we were the first interviewers, before he could exhibit his art, artworks, we were, the fair, we were the first to set eyes on his amazing works, as if we were conducting a real interview. We were fortunate to be able to see this incredible pieces of art so well is the interview goes. He and his family are really appreciated. Let's move on about his perspective about arts and others. Jerry Jean Baggio considered art to be a symbol of life. And he believes that by using art, he can, he can express feelings and communicate through art. He may express his sentiments and art has been also the reason why he continues to live. 
Terry Jill's life has greatly been impacted by art. When he is having difficulties, he diverts his attention into painting or drawing to calm himself. Art, is not, art has not only impacted Terry Jill's life but also others' life, allowing them to understand the special value of life. His passion started when he was in kindergarten. Imagine that he was so young but he already joined the contest and keep on pursuing his passion up until now. Also, his father became his first mentor who supports his passion and gives him advice and techniques on how to master doing art. Jerry Jones himself described his artwork as realistic because it was a hard thing to do, especially a painting like this. You need to be careful and draw every detail to emphasize its beauty and true meaning. Even with hardship, he chose the kind of style to test his patience in art because for him, because for him patience is a virtue. You cannot do that without patience. He has been working for himself since he graduated five years ago, thanks to his skills in painting, drawing, tattooing, and portraiture. In addition to some part, in addition to some part-time work, Jerry June also has intentions to work abroad and showcase his ability. Although this was not one of his main goals, if someone were to approach him and offer him the chance, he would gladly accept it, as it meant earning more money than he is currently making. Most of his clients desire tribal paintings that are all about nature and portrait paintings in Thailand. He gets to sell his works and get a piece. The atmosphere in which he works greatly affects the quality of his work. For example, a large hot weather mural painting will generally inspire him to produce better work. His commission in the Sinulu Festival Crops is currently the highest paid commission he had. Even though he created many lovely pieces of art, he occasionally gets feedback from other artists saying that his creation isn't as wonderful as it is. He takes this feedback as motivation to create better pieces, but so far he hasn't heard anything similar from a buyer. Future plans for Jerry Joan included a exhibit. We questioned him about one of his unusual works of art that drew our attention during the conversation. And he thinks that Carmen Bacall's policy of banning plastic and the desire to educate everyone about how this would benefit the environment serve as an, serve as an inspiration for him. Henceforward, we've come to our realization that art is generally a gift to a world. It's what we crave in the human experience. Art gives us meaning to life and helps us understand our world. Art is an essential part of our culture because it allows us to have a deeper understanding of our emotions. Art increases our self-awareness and it also allows us to be open to new ideas and experiences. Art therefore continues to open our minds and our hearts and shows us what could be possible in our world. When we give ourselves the opportunities to connect with art, we are able to take a step back, reflect what's going on in the world, evaluate our lives and reflect. That is why I believe it is so important to give yourself the opportunities to incorporate art into your life on a daily basis. This could be through visiting an artist studio, a museum, seeing a live show, watching a movie, or even, or even reading a book. These experiences allow us to look within because as people, we decide what we are seeing and feeling and feeling based on the emotional connection that we have with that work of art. When we are aware of this, we tend to be happier and healthier as individuals because we are able to figure out our purpose in life. I am Jenny Biblabeta. I am Julio Alvin. Signing off.